हेलो एवरी वन टूडे इन दिस लेशन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट सियरिंग ब्रिज इन दिस ब्रिज वी आर मेजरिंग द अनोन कैपेसिटेंस बाय कंपेरिजन विथ स्टैंडर्ड वेरिएबल कैपेसिटर सो हियर दिस इज द ब्रिज सर्किट एंड सी वन इज द अनोन कैपेसिटेंस हुज कैपेसिटेंस वी हैव टू मेजर एंड आर वन इज द अनोन रेजिस्टेंस हियर इन ब्रांच टू we are having one simple capacitor c2 in branch 3 this is r3 one resistor and in the branch 4 we are having a parallel combination of capacitor and resistor both are variable elements and by varying this we can find out the unknown parameters of this circuit so let's write down the equations first for z1 z2 z3 and z4 so the value of z1 is it is a simple rc circuit so it should be r1 plus 1 by j omega c1 then z2 it is a pure capacitive branch so z2 is equal to 1 by j omega c2 z3 is a pure resistive branch so z3 is equal to r3 and z4 is a parallel combination of r4 and c4 so it should be r4 into 1 by j omega c4 divided by r4 plus 1 by j omega c4 so it should be r4 divided by 1 plus j omega c4 r4 so these are the four values now we have to keep this equation in balance condition and then we have to find out the values of unknown parameter so the balance condition is z1 z4 is equal to z2 into z3 now putting all the values in this equation and further solving this we have to or we will get this equation now and from this equation we have to equate the real parts these are the real parts r1 into r4 and this one so now we are equating these real parts and finally we will get the value of unknown resistance r1 is equal to r3 c4 by c2 this is the value of unknown resistance r1 again from this balance equation we need to equate the imaginary parts and after equating the imaginary parts here we can find out the value of c1 unknown capacitance c1 that is r4 c2 by c r4 c2 by r3 so these are the two parameters unknown quantities that we need to find out or we have to find out from this bridge so now when we are finding out these two values and the second thing is we have to find out the dissipation factor of the capacitor so dissipation factor is that is 1 upon quality factor 1 upon quality factor so it should be d is equal to 1 by and the value of quality factor must be the voltage across the energy storing element means voltage across c1 divided by voltage across r1 so it should be i into xc1 divided by i into r1 this is the value of quality factor and if you will go for the dissipation factor it should be 1 by this parameter or 1 by quality factor so the value of d is equal to r1 by 1 by omega c1 or omega c1 r1 and from the balance condition equation we found out the values of c1 and r1 now putting the values of c1 and r1 in this dissipation factor equation here we can conclude that if i will get cancel this c2 and c2 this r3 and r3 also getting cancel each other out so finally the value of dissipation factor d is equal to omega c4 r4 d is equal to omega c4 r4 means by varying the variable parameters of this circuit we can change the dissipation factor of the capacitor of the unknown capacitor okay and the next thing is we have to draw the phase diagram of this bridge so for drawing the phase diagram let's first write down the equations for all the voltage and currents so here the value of e1 must be i1 r1 plus i1 1 by j omega c1 then the value of e2 it is a capacitive branch so it should be i2 into 1 by 
J omega C2. Then if you will go for E3, it should be I1 into R3. Then the value of E4, it, it has two parallel branch. So the one value is IC into 1 by J omega C4. And the second value is IR into R4. Again, the value of I2 must be is equal to IC plus IR. And it is the phasor sum. And at balance condition, we know that E1 is equal to E2 and e3 is equal to e4 and finally the value of e must be the phasor sum of e1 and e3 or e2 plus e4 this is the value of total circuit voltage e so this is the data we have to find out or to draw the phasor diagram of this shearing bridge so now i am taking I1 as the reference then I1 into R1 it is a resistive branch so it should be in phase with the current I1 into 1 by J omega C1 it is a capacitive voltage so the capacitive voltage must lag I by an angle 90 degree because we have taken current as the reference I as the reference so its respective capacitive voltage will lag i1 into 1 by j omega c1 then the phasor sum of i1 r1 and i1 j omega c1 is equal to e1 now we got the value of e1 and this same phasor is equal to e2 and the value of e2 is i2 into 1 by j omega c2 so the relation of e2 with i2 it is a purely capacitive branch so obviously the current i2 will lead e2 by an angle 90 degree so if it is e2 i2 must be here it should lead 90 degree to e2 now we got e1 e2 then coming to e3 so e3 is equal to i1 into r3 so the relation of e3 with i1 it should be in phase because it is a resistive branch so here if it is I1, I can draw E3 here in phase with I1. Again the same pager is equal to E4 because at balance condition E3 is equal to E4. And E4 is equal to IR into R4 and also IC into 1 by J omega C4. So if this is E4, so IC must be ic must be leading by an angle 90 degree to e4 so here this is ic and e4 and ir both are in the same phase because it is a resistive branch so if it is e4 i can draw ir here in phase with e4 and we have to satisfy I2 is equal to phasor sum of IC and IR. So here it is. This is IR and this is IC and the phasor sum is I2 here. So now we got E3, E4. We got E1, E2. Now we can draw total voltage E. So it is a phasor sum of E1, E3 or E2, E4. So now this is the result. This is the total circuit voltage E. So now this is the phasor diagram of searing bridge. In the next video, I will tell you about Vines bridge. Thank you. If you like this lesson, give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button. Also remember to subscribe this channel by clicking the subscribe button to get my latest lesson right here on YouTube. Happy learning. I will see you in another lesson.